politics. I mean, look, I, I, Cuban has a history of saying really stupid stuff. Yes, Macuba was fired on ABC and his show was cancelled. According to this tweet, breaking the Kamala Harris campaign has informed Mark Coburn to stop doing interviews on behalf of the Harris campaign due to the backlash each interview is bringing. Mm, I don't know how true this is. It is going viral on X. I decided to search to see if I can get articles about it. Okay, so how's everybody's nerves about this election? You know, I'm... Uh... Let's say on a scale of 10 being can't think of anything else and may need some additional medication. I'm like at a seven. I'm at a seven. So that's all right. I can handle a seven. I'm trying not to watch so much of the news now. I'm trying to recite that amazing prayer you do in Al-Anon and AA about, you know, the wisdom to know the difference between the things you can and cannot change. And, you know, if you voted, if you donated, if you could, whatever you did, you participated. And now, you know, we got a week left to worry. And then it's in someone else's hands, you know. And I just think with all those people showing up for Kamala, I don't think it's as close as they're saying it is. I really don't. And I think that uh, the dumpster, the hate rally manager, that guy, the orange dumpster fire, as we get images and content and, you know, fake news and trolls and shit from Russia infiltrating our inboxes, you know. <laughs> when I look at this lady, sometimes I just have a lot of things in my mind. Now what she's saying on this video, if Trump win, she will move to another country. Look at what she said here. She's <laughs> now going back into my Cuban. He sent out an apology on X when I said this during the interview, I didn't get it out exactly the way I thought I did. So I apologize to anyone who felt slighted or upset by my response. As I said, I, it wasn't about Trump voters, supporters or employees, current or former. And I set myself up for a six second sound beat, no excuses, can they every interview? My skin is thick enough. What bothers me do it is that so many of the comment or, or media in support or against me has some level of insult attached to it, not just here, but everywhere. I'm not blaming anyone. We are where we are. Yeah, it's hoping that change changes at least a little bit in a week. Mark Cuban is apologizing. <laughs> Yesterday, he came out struggling to explain. After the backlash exceeded, Chris had an interview on The View. This is what he had to say. Mark Cuban's comments about women, which he made here, and he's also clarified, but what do you make of all of this? Does that overshadow, or is this... What's going to be in, the more powerful... In the last few days, I think voters who are undecided are looking to listen to the candidates. I think the surrogates have minimal value right. um, in these last few right. days uh, on both sides. Uh, and I don't think anybody really cares what Lindsey Graham thinks um, on the Republican side or, you know, what Mark Cuban thinks. I mean, look, I, I, Cuban has a history of saying really stupid stuff. Mark doesn't think before he talks. Um, He's and that's, got a lot of money. You, well, it, by the way, <laughs> if that saying, were a determiner so of intelligence... Well, um, you, know, you can't argue then, with the success of the... I, think, um, I, think, but, yeah, but I, think I really he's think that... Smart. Like, and he is, but he says stupid things because he doesn't think before he talks. But he often. also walked it back. It genuinely wasn't what he meant. I talked to him yesterday. Yeah. He wouldn't. He knows I worked for Trump. He wasn't directly insulting right. me to my face. He was talking about Trump will only allow a certain level of pushback from advisors before he casts you out. But yeah. listen, it doesn't mean it wasn't messy. Right. The, the, pro the problem with all that is that people listen to what you yeah. say.
And he, you got to be careful yeah. in the last few days of a presidential race. If you're going to be speaking on behalf of a candidate, be careful. Yeah. Well, let's like, think about, about yeah, it. Don't think threaten about it. But in the end, to answer your question, um, Sarah, I, I don't think it has any, gr any great effect. I think the real effect is what the vice president said at the ellipse, as you referred to. I thought that was her best speech of the campaign. Yeah. Um, and, and when they see Donald Trump, one sitting across from Tucker Carlson, um, that doesn't make a lot of people feel incredibly warm. <laughs> and, and secondly, when he says that kind of stuff about Liz Cheney, yeah. um, that, I think, has much more of an impact on voters than whatever Mark Cuban might say so. or, 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 or even the president at this point, who, you know, should probably just... Yeah. Keep quiet for the next Well, let me, let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, trash talk um, and that PR stunt where he was riding the dump truck, which was stupid. Um, Donald Trump <laughs> told his rally goers that he plans to protect women whether they like it or not. Mm. Will that... Ridiculous, exactly. <laughs> Will that matter? Yeah, that's much more important than anything any surrogate says because it tells you his attitude about women. Right. Now, I, I can only imagine... I didn't know that Chris can easily suck up to these people... Sitting down with these people on the view can be extremely difficult. Oh, Trump sat down with Tucker Carlson. A lot of people were not really okay with that. Look at the population that was inside that place with Tucker Carlson. This man cannot pull up that number of people. You are here talking nonsense. And the guy is not accepting that people edited that video and put out to mislead the public, Chris is accepting with a view. Sometimes when I watch this guy, I really ask myself if he is a Republican because the way he sounds, too stupid. Yes. According to him, he makes sense because he aligned with these people. I understand maybe it's for the money. So Mark Cuban said that Donald Trump never surrounds himself with smart, intelligent women. Well, he sure doesn't at presidential debates. And also, Mark Cuban, you have no idea how brilliant Alina Haba is, Ivanka Trump. All the women that he, they are very successful and they're very smart. They're multilingual. A lot of them come from other countries and other cultures. The women that he surrounds himself with and the women that support him are more multicultural than the other parties, people that they associate with. And I can guarantee you that. Mark, you need to get some blood work done because you are just, I don't know, maybe something's not right. But you're not, you are not the rich, powerful dude I thought you were. It is embarrassing when I see people talk like this. Look at Joy Beham. Comparing this man to Elon Musk, because Elon Musk is a billionaire, Malcolm is a billionaire, he says stupid things. That is the truth. Must you compare? Okay, because he's rich, he's not saying stupid things, according to Joy Beham. Crazy, right? I have watched this man over and over. He is always doing things that cause for attention. He was on ABC. He had a show. That show got cancelled simply because of ratings. Nobody was ready to watch the guy. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women. Ever. It's just that simple. Thank you guys for always being there, sharing out my videos. God bless you abundantly. I post three to four videos a day. Sometimes... Multiple Latin celebrities have called out Trump over it. Five days out, both candidates very clearly pushing to win. He brought up America being a garbage can. Trump, like Trump has been saying that for long. No. Dana, I love you. You're so wrong. <laughs> insulting and as mean-spirited as they want to be. So they now wear the two candidates to see who will favor them. President Biden made his comments. It's going to be huge because this is not some comedian saying something stupid and offensive at a rally where he should have been just, just basically disinvited. Now, I never noticed before and make me go, 
Whoa. You know, whoopee, you always say, uh, you don't believe in Throw a birthday party for Diddy. Hey, you're calling yourself. If you are over 18, please register to vote. For what he does at age 71. There's so much at stake. You matter. I'm not voting for Donald Trump because.